momentum. Three for me is the West Coast Eagles and the power of belief. You know, is it the young kid? Um, is it that they, they can see the light at the end of the tunnel a little bit? But um, you know, Harley Reid's um, a real case in point. Is he the catalyst between what they were and what they could be? In the <laughs> in the burst at the end of the at the in the end of the first quarter. So he takes a really nice mark, a clever mark uh, at the top of the goal square. Just um, clever or brilliant? No, the first one. The first one was pretty, pretty good. Oh, it was understanding where the player yeah. was coming. It was a bit. I actually, th- yeah, here we go. You, you put names, but it reminded me of a, like the way Lee Matthews used to take marks. He he was really good at knowing where the momentum. Well, this is the vision that I saw mm. where the momentum was coming from. Jump into it and let it come back to the ball. And that was it was a very good mark. Then he had a goal assist from a stoppage moments later, and then and then kicked a goal himself. So two goals and a direct goal assist in three or four minutes from Harley Reid, and that. And then burst out of the the first centre bounce of the of the second quarter and looked like he was going to finish a goal again. So that momentum and that spark it fuels purpose, belief, and happiness. Mm, mm. Like West, how 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 much happier do West Coast look at the relevant? Moment? Again. They're relevant. This young kid has made them relevant again. He's played six games, Bucks. What does it What does it look like? I think he's just turned 19. What, is, what does it look like when he's 24, 25? Because what he's doing now, he's sitting Fife on his backside. Uh, he's not afraid of contact. There's n- not really a, a weakness in his game. And the talk that, okay, we're going to play him across half back. We're, yeah, we're we ridiculous. Can that, we can put that we, in the we, that's, that, that is done. He's not, these players are not half back. So this is why... You recruit Sheasel, don't send him to half back and stagnate his career by letting him get cheap possessions across half back. That would be the case with Reed. He's a midfielder forward. That's mm. where the big players play. That's where the damage is done. That's why they get paid the big money. That's why they're drafted number one or number three. Don't waste them across half back. And, and well done to the club for the way that they've handled him. And more importantly, well done to him for being able to cope with everything that's been thrown at him. Already. Yeah, and at this short stage, and he's he's handled everything <clears throat> with a plum. There was one bit of play at the end of the first quarter. He was actually pushed out of out of bounds, and it was the one that led to um, the goal assist. But he was about fifteen meters from the ball, and he just made a direct beeline to the ball. Now that sounds relatively simple, but you th- think about a Patrick Cripps. A Tom Green, mm. a Tom Limbertore, they're not they're not blessed with overt pace, but they have a way of knowing where the ball's going to go and going directly to it and being there before it's gone. Like so that it's it's a trait of the best ball winners, and it sounds simplistic, but there are some that think, oh, okay, there's a there's plenty going on, plenty of variables going on in the game that I need to consider. But to simplify it, to be able to find the shortest point between where you are and the ball's going to be, and then to go win it. Can you teach that, he, or is that natural? Well, I think it's the, it's, it's partly belief that you when I've got to get there because I'm going to go and get my hands in the ball, and you don't stop a meter before it and think, oh, I've got to tackle this bloke, or there might be a handball receive, or I might be able to run past. It is a straight line between mm. where you are to where the ball's going to be, and you just don't let anyone get in your way. You you you're snaking through other people that might be thinking other stuff. And then you just go and get yeah. it and pick it up and win it. It's the simplest way to win the ball, to find a possession. And Harley Reid has that trait. Yeah, Gary Ablett Jr., the best I've seen at doing that. Nick Dacos has got a bit of that about him as well. Just bobs up where the ball is. All right, 